Saludos amigos, Cash, your president and CEO of real estate in Los Trenes.com. Guys, I'm sitting here in beautiful Los Trenes, Dominican Republic, quintessential spots in the world that you need to come and visit when you get that opportunity, okay? So many of my clients have now made the transition from watching the videos, learning about Los Trenes through myself, and deciding to come here and make the investment, make the leap. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your abilities to be able to do something like this. I know in our generations, many people have not done this. And uh, this is happening now. This is daily occurrence. And people, in, we're a testament to it. Myself, my family, we moved down here uh, nearly two years ago now. And uh, we absolutely love it. We've created a life for us, a great business, uh, great properties, great investment properties, commercial properties. All sorts of really cool things are happening because we decided to believe in ourselves in... Uh, in one of the trickiest times in the world, we decided to make that shift uh, right when the pandemic hit. We said, you know, let's go for it. And uh, we encourage you to do the same uh, because I know you can do it because we did it. And there's nothing extra special about us uh, that says that we can do it and you can't. So we're here. We're a boutique brokerage. We're investors here. Uh, we specialize in the North American investor, the English speaking investor. We've got a massive network of lawyers. Uh, business professionals, contractors, anything you need, we've already reached out. We've got those contacts. We've got trusted relations, specifically with the lawyers. Uh, you've got, you guys have seen some of my uh, my videos with uh, my good friend uh, from Guzman Ariza, and uh, we're teaching you guys exactly how easy it actually is. You guys can own property here, okay? That's what's special about Dominican Republic, why I picked it, because you can own property here, okay? You get the title. I've got title sitting with my name. It, it's my title. It's my property. Uh, there's no loopholes, no catches there. Uh, as long as you do things proper, proper legal representation, proper brokers like myself, and uh, you are going to be good, okay? It's a great strategy to build wealth, to diversify from just one country, because if anything has taught us uh, anything, if we've learned anything over the last couple of years, it's it, don't get too comfortable because things change overnight. So have a plan B. Okay, that's what this is. This is that's what this is all about. A plan B. Okay, so uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about something that is very important to most of you. Uh, whether you decide to move here or you decide you want to come here for two, three months a year. Whatever your thing is, you might want to open a bank account, okay? If you want to open a bank account, I want to prep you in advance of getting here so you bring all the documentation that you need to open a bank account. Stick around. This is a, an important video. It's a short one, but important. All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on our channel. Uh, means the world to us. Remember, before you dive into this, please subscribe. Before you go any further, subscribe, like, and share this video, okay? Get the word out. People need to understand that this is possible. They can do it. And uh, people like myself, my family are doing it. My business partner, he's doing it uh, from Canada. As you guys know, I'm in the, in the hospitality industry back home and I've got a lot of commercial residential real estate i've got the businesses are still operating but my business partner his family uh his wife and his two young daughters they decided to make that shift because they saw how we were living here they saw the opportunity and they said you know what eight months a year let's go for it and then we'll spend summers back home in canada uh focusing on the businesses so either way uh let's dive into this so what i want you guys today's video is about you guys understanding i'm going to turn my volume down here um uh, okay so this is an important video because when you guys come down, okay, so often, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I have a really good client, and I can't even say really good client anymore. I have to say really good friends. Uh, he is down here. He came down here with his brother. They bought some properties. Uh, he's a great guy. He's from Canada, and I absolutely love him. We were with him yesterday. He decided, uh, he said, hey, Cash, I want to open a bank account. And I said, okay, no problem. Let me set you up. So that's one thing. We're going to set you up with exactly who you need to talk to to open up your bank account. Okay, uh, we're going to set that up for you. So reach out to me, WhatsApp me, my number's right there, 519-567-1785. WhatsApp me, I'm going to set you up uh, with exactly the person you need to talk to, okay? Exactly the bank that you need to go to. And the reason I can say go to this bank, because that's where I go. 
And because I go there, I can vouch for the service, I can vouch for the professionalism, I can vouch for everything that happens there because I, I don't just refer things, I don't tell you to buy things uh, or do things that I have not done. That's why I'm here, that's why we're so su successful because I buy into these projects I tell you about, I buy these villas, I buy the commercial stuff, I do all these things, I don't just, uh, just preach it, I practice it. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let me dive into the list of items that he received today from my trusted manager over at the bank and she said listen you've got to bring these documents unfortunately he didn't bring that he brought his passport and driver's license not enough unfortunately okay just not enough to open a bank account here so i'm going to give you that list today i want you to take some notes i want you to jot it down any questions feel free to reach out to me directly i'll, I'll assist you i'll guide you i'll connect you with all the right people uh specifically with this video the banker okay so what do we need i'm going to go ahead and read off uh this is actually the notes that he received okay to open your bank account, you need the following documents. Number one, okay, most of us always usually cover this one. You need a passport. So obviously bring your passport. You're going to have that. No other way you're getting in the country. So you're going to have your passport. Uh, if there's a caveat here, if you were born in a different country that you are now living in, the passport of both countries will be needed. Okay, so that, that's something. So let's say I'm Canadian. Uh, let's say you're Canadian, uh, but you were born in Portugal, okay? One thing the bank is going to need, they're going to need both of those, okay, to open that account. So if you were born in Portugal, but you live in Canada, you have that passport as well, make sure you bring both. That's something that she does need to open the account, okay? Very important. So that's number one. Number two, identification. Most of us bring this, identification, i.e. driver's license. If you don't drive, a similar form of government-issued identification, Make sure you have that second piece with you, okay? This is where, now we're jumping into number three, and number three is where people usually don't bring it because they don't think about bringing it. That's why you guys tune into my channel because I let you know these things, okay? So what you want to bring with you as well so you can get this account open, you can get your debit card, you can be a fully functioning member of the commerce society here, and you can start to buy things, you can start to live, uh, pay for things in pesos, you can start to pull out money, you can start to prep yourself if you want to get a mortgage down the road, or you want to do your residency, any of those kind of things you start to prep yourself for. So number three is you want to bring bank references with you, okay? You want to make sure in advance, go see your, uh, uh, your person at TD or RBC, wherever you bank at uh, around, the, around the world, I'm talking to North Americans specifically right now, uh, go there and get a reference letter. A nice simple reference letter if you need help with what i'm referring to reach out to me uh, but get a reference letter okay and then you also at the same time want to bring your bank statements for the last six months okay this is very important make sure you bring it uh, this is a a country that's very diligent about making sure that funds are coming from legal sources okay so they want to track that they want to know who who's opening an account they want to understand where their money's coming from coming from they want to have the references of the banking from the country that you're coming from okay so remember that get your bank reference and bring your bank statements okay the last six months bring that with you um i would actually print it and bring it with you of course digitally is fine but i would just print it just play it safe print it bring it with you put it in a nice folder and bring it along with you uh, now you want to make sure you have income verification so what does that mean you want to have evidence of your income if you say you are a doctor, then you should have your pay stubs and you should be able to show that you're a doctor, verify your income. They want to know that. Again, money laundering laws. They want to make sure that who is opening an account is actually opening it and the source of the, the money is from legal sources, okay? That is part of the checks and balances and that's something I do like about uh, the Dominican Republic. They are very on top of that, okay? They want to make sure it's legit, it's legal. Uh, this all ties into safe, secure purchases of real estate uh, with the proper people, okay? So income verification, make sure you bring uh, income evidence, okay? That could be a tax return of some sort. Uh, you could bring an employment letter. You know, if you want to be really ahead of the game, bring an employment letter with you showing where you work, uh, what you do in Canada or the U.S., uh, when you bring that documentation of your employment, you basically now brought a nice little folder. It's not a ton of work here. You probably already have it if you've applied for a loan or a mortgage or anything like that. Um, bring that with you because you're going to need that to open your bank account. So I'm going to do a quick recap. Passport, caveat, 
if you were born in another country but now live in Canada or U.S., make sure you bring both passports, okay? You need to bring both in that situation. If you're born in Canada, no big deal, bring that one passport, just like us. Uh, then make sure you have the second form of ID, driver's license, gov government-issued identification, photo ID. Make sure you bring that. Uh, bring bank re reference letters along with your bank statements last six months, okay? And finally, income evidence. So if you say you are self-employed, make sure you have uh, your information that supports that. If you say you have a job at Chrysler, make sure you have the in information that supports that. I would also bring along tax returns just in case last two years doesn't hurt. It helps the situation, helps things progress forward. Okay. Um, so that's it guys. That Those are the, the, the important things. Those are important documents. Most people do not bring them. Okay. Most people do not bring them. And when you don't, it ties you up. It pushes you back. My good friend here that I was with yesterday, uh, client now really good friend. Same thing happened to him. Passport and he had his driver's license. Uh, I wish I would have put this video out sooner because then he would have known. Uh, he did have the other stuff. So now he's coming back in December and he's going to have to bring all that information. It just kind of throws him back a few months. Uh, you guys are truly going to love the service that you get from the bank that I refer to you. Uh, you're going to love the, the bank manager. She's a gem and uh, the communication is great. Uh, I've ha I have no complaints. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's really a system that works well and it is efficient. And all in all, I prefer going to the bank more so here than I do in Canada to be honest. So guys, that's, uh, that's it. That's it for this video. Okay. I hope this thing helps you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Remember, just get that word out. And if you are coming here to Las Serenas and you are considering and you're learning from these videos, okay, uh, I ask you to please make sure that you WhatsApp me and my team first when you're getting ready to buy here. If you're North American, reach out to us first. Okay, you're going to understand the market from our eyes. It's really important. You're going to understand the investments that we think are great for North Americans. You're going to understand the residential. We're going to even pop in, show you a little bit of commercial. We're going to make you understand things that we invest in. We're going to make sure you understand Confitur, which is a tax savings law. You're going to understand all sorts of different things. There's a ton of videos. I would say well over 200 now. I'm not sure what the exact count is, but there's hundreds of videos on this channel. Take advantage of that. Don't just leave the channel and go uh, start browsing through other stuff. You're going to see a lot of people that are doing a ton of videos out there now. Stick with our stuff because I'm telling you it's accurate. We're not just regurgitating stuff. What we're doing is we're telling you how it is with our experiences, our investment experiences, our purchasing, uh, our selling experiences. All of this stuff is what you're gathering here. So tune into the channel. There's hundreds of videos on all sorts of subjects. We also cover some areas, some stuff in Punta Cana, uh, Santa Domingo. We're covering it all because what my goal is and my team's goal is, is to make sure you, before you get here, you already understand what you're getting to. So when you hit the ground, you hit it running and we just go, okay, you already know what we're looking at. We go and we hit hard. Uh, we want to make sure that you do whatever you decide to do. If you decide to invest here, you do it safely, you do it securely. That is number one, okay? So, uh, so yeah, reach out, guys. When you're getting ready, when you start thinking about it, when you're getting ready to visit here, make us your first stop, and uh, we will make sure that you understand this market from our eyes as a North American should. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining us. I'm hoping it helped. Like, subscribe, and share, and we will talk to you soon. Remember, guys, life short. I don't have the Love Where You Live shirt on. I got the other one. I love Las Trenas, okay? Uh, I love lostrenas.com. This is one of our other uh, signature shirts, but the other one, love where you live. Life is short. Uh, get your butts down here. It's a quick, easy flight. Three and a half hours away from Toronto, three and a half hours away from Montreal, and you're here, Miami, two hours. We're going to be going there in, uh, in a month or so. So uh, quick, easy flight, direct to El Cate, E-L space C-A-T-E-Y. That's the airport that you want to get to. If you got to go to San Domingo, no problem. We can connect you up there. we got uh, shuttle services that we, we prefer, that we use, and we'll connect you with those guys. Two hours. One of the most beautiful drives you, you've ever had in your life. And you are right here in sunny Las Trenas where it's 86 degrees almost all the time. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us and love where you live.